Hello all, this is the lesson number six for the Varicat training and this lesson is called how to work with multiple files inside Varicat. Uh, I want to show you just a few concepts inside this lesson and I would like to start with the concept of the active file inside the program. And for that, the first thing to notice is in this top bar of the program, you can see no name one. And this kind of name appears uh, when we open a new file and nothing is saved inside the program. So it, it is something that the software assigns to a new file by default. Now I will change this and I will make my first save on the menu file. I will do the save and I will just give the name of V1 and save. So I've saved a new file which is a, a, a blank sheet but okay it is here V1 DWB. Okay so now I will make a new save again on a blank sheet and I will do the save as because if I do save now it will override what is saved previously. It is the same but it will not do anything. So I must do save as to change the name and then I will do the D2 and save again. And I will do it once more but first I will draw something, in this case a rectangle, no particular worries about the size or the shape or the color, whatever. And I will do again file, save as, and this time I will do the D3 save. Okay? So, uh, at this moment you, you, you can see that uh, what I'm seeing on the screen is mostly the same because the screen never changed but uh, as long as uh, I was saving new files the one that I save is the one that is open and active. I can have other ones on the back but I can have only one active and the active file is the one that holds the entities we create. Anyway at, the, at this moment we should have three open files, the D1, D2 and the V3, but the V3 again, which is shown here, is the active one. Okay? If we want to turn active another of the files, we can go here to the window, Windows, the V3 is only what is open, okay? but if we come here and open the V1 open, now it is active, and the open again, and now the D2 open also. Now I, I should have three open files. Now window, and you can see that on the windows I have D2, it is a little less highlighted because it's the active one and I can open the other. So I will open the D3, which is the one that has the rectangle for you to, to see that things will um, invert. So it is the V3 on the top now. This is the concept of active file. Um, another important thing here and I think this is quite easy to understand what is active and what is not active. Um, in this lesson, um, another thing important is to understand that we can uh, pass geometry in both 2D or 3D um, just doing the simple copy and paste issue. So on the menu edit, if we go to copy, and now I will copy this rectangle, I will do my enter or right click with the mouse. Okay. Now I will go to one of the other files, it can be either the D1 or D2, in this case D1, and I will do my paste. And you can see that when I do the paste, 
I grab the entities that I had copied on the other file and now they are holding my cursor waiting for me to click on a point in the screen so here this is done and again um, this is something that is independent for the 2d from the 3d let us do a small test and i will do a very small box okay it doesn't matter the dimensions just putting it here and i will do again the copy this part and i will again go to one of the other files on the 3d side and will say paste and basically it is the same okay i can share objects i can share geometry uh, doing uh, this functionality copy and paste which is common to any any program i know uh, running in in windows um, to finish this I, I would like to show you uh, the configuration of these issues inside the tools menu and on the tools menu access it on the 2d or 3d the, it doesn't matter if we come to the function system settings um, we have on top of this working with multiple files so um, this is uh, something that we can change a little to to put it uh, at our own taste uh, on, on the way to work with this and we have three simple things to work with this regarding uh, the, the the starting of varicad um, if we want to restore the previously open documents or create a new default document which is the the thing that i have in my computer and regarding the 2d uh, how to work with the copy and paste regarding either uh, the objects from clipboard or inserted from another file okay you can look a little uh, about these and to understand these are very easy concepts to understand okay and with this i finish this lesson number six how to work with multiple files inside varicad thank you